guys and welcome back. Thanks for stopping by today. I apologize for my kind of like unkempt appearance. It's been like the laziest Sunday ever and I have not been able to be bothered to do anything with myself today. So we got a ponytail, we got this fancy little hair tie, but that's about all I can manage for today. Um, so today I'm actually going to be reviewing a foundation and it's a powder foundation by Smashbox. It's called the Smashbox Photo Filter Powder Foundation. And there were a couple things that initially drew me to this foundation. I had been looking for a good powder foundation for a little while just because I didn't feel like I had one. Um, I don't typically go for powder foundations, I prefer liquid, but I did want to give one a shot to just see how I liked it in comparison to my liquid foundations. Um, so the first thing that drew me to this product was that it says photo filter foundation and whenever I see that like filter terminology it just sort of draws me in it makes me feel like you're gonna look very airbrushed and your skin is gonna look really perfected and you're gonna going to look kind of like HD for your photos so that is um, just the name of the product kind of drew me in and then um, also that it is described as a creamy powder foundation so I certainly don't ever want a foundation that's going to be like dry or cakey on my skin I really want something that's going to blend seamlessly in with everything else, especially if it's a powder. Um, so I'm just going to quickly read the description like I always do for my reviews. This is on the Sephora website and it says it's an 8 hour wear powder foundation formulated with light filter technology and long lasting photo set polymers that acts as a photo filter for your face. So I feel like these little descriptors are just so, I don't know, they just make the, the product sounds so cool like polymers and I don't know, all that stuff so it definitely drew me in with that it also says provides two filter effects in one portable compact it features a double-sided sponge and lets you create a buildable and customizable sheer or full finish the light filter technology acts as a photo filter to leave skin looking flawless transparent particles diffuse light in various directions blurring imperfections while still keeping the subject in focus not drying, non-caking, and non-settling. The particles in this oil-free foundation are translucent, so the pigment's true colors will always come through. So that is the descriptor of this product, and of course, every time you read the description, it sounds like a miracle product, but it's really not until you actually try it and test it out on your skin that you see how it truly performs. So this product retails for $42, and like I said, I got it at Sephora. So $42 is kind of pricey, especially when you're comparing it to like a foundation you get at the drugstore that could retail for six to eight, twelve dollars. Forty-two dollars is very, very pricey when you compare it to that kind of thing. But foundations is one of those products that I will spend a little bit of extra money on because I feel like anything on your skin, you want it to be high quality and you want it to work really, really well. So I'm just going to talk a little bit of this foundation and how I've been getting on with it and how I like it and I'm also going to demo it for you. So basically it comes in this little compact. It's kind of like a muted black packaging. The product is in there and then you lift up one more layer and you have this little sponge. So like a lot of other people that do makeup. I don't really typically use this sponge very much. Um, I just find I prefer a brush a little bit more. So packaging is fine. Um, it's nothing too amazing or mind-blowing. It's just, you know, sort of standard. Nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't feel as high quality as maybe like some Marc Jacobs products. Um, and stuff like that but you know it's fine it does the job okay so now that we know the basics um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the color selection so I am in the color number three light beige for light complexions but you have a range of up to ten shades from very light to um, darker so it's got a nice range of color which is always something you look for you want a foundation that's gonna suit a wide range of skin tones with different types of undertones and just one that's going to be very universal for anybody that wants to purchase the product. So I always comment on the smell of foundations. I mean a powder foundation isn't going to have the same type of smell as a liquid foundation and no surprise this one doesn't really have a smell to speak of. So people that are sensitive to perfumes or smells definitely don't have to worry about with this product. Worry about that with this product. Um, 
So I want to talk a little bit about the texture because this claims to be a very creamy powder foundation. And I would say that's pretty accurate. I've definitely used foundations, powder foundations that are, that are a lot crumblier and they kind of get everywhere and they're very, very powdery. This definitely has more of a creamy texture. So that really helps it blend into the skin and it helps it to not sit on top of the skin. So I think that's definitely a plus about this foundation. Um, in terms of wear, it claims to wear up to eight hours. I find the wear of this foundation to be very, very good. How I've been using it, I've actually been using this daily, but how I've been using it is not as a full cover foundation on its own, but rather um, kind of like a setting powder. So I've been using it on my chin, just basically in my T-zone, and it sets my foundation and I find that it keeps the oil to a minimum throughout the day. It really, really helps your skin um, stay from looking super oily, and it's been really hot and humid, so I've been loving this as more of like a setting powder. Um, but I think if you were to wear it as a foundation alone, you would be really, really pleased with um, the long wear power of this foundation. So that's definitely a thumbs up for me. So in terms of color, I find that this number three is a nice match for me. It might be a tiny bit light for me, but I don't find that it has a ton of color oxidation. So I find that the color you choose is pretty true to your skin tone throughout the day. So you're not gonna put it on and have it be one color and then a couple hours later look in the mirror and be like orange or like pure white or anything like that. So you're just gonna be, it, I find that it's pretty true to how it looks when you put it on, if that makes sense. I don't find the color oxidation to be too intense with this product as it is with some other foundations. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about the foundation, I think it's time to apply it and let you guys see how it really works on the skin. Okay, so now that we are nice and zoomed in, I'm going to start applying this. So like I said, I've been using this as a setting powder throughout the middle of my face over a liquid foundation, but today I'm just gonna apply it alone just to show you how the coverage is with just this foundation. To apply it, I'm using this Urban Decay brush. It's just basically a kind of a dense buffing brush. You can use whatever kind of tool you want. I know everybody has different preferences as to how they like to apply foundations, but for this foundation, I have been liking kind of just a dense, um, dense powdery brush. So I'm gonna get quite a bit on the brush and I'm just gonna start pressing it into the skin. And I'm going to apply this two ways. I'm gonna apply one side with this brush and one side with the Color Me automatic foundation applicator. So one thing that I worry about with powder foundations is that I'm not going to get the kind of coverage that I do with liquid foundations. But I find that if you get enough on the brush, the coverage is pretty good. I do kind of feel like though, I prefer this foundation over a liquid foundation. So I prefer it in the capacity that I have been using it as more of a setting powder than as a foundation on its own. Because you can see I'm really layering it up to get the desired amount of coverage. So I'm just using kind of a stippling pressing motion. I'm not using a dragging motion because I feel like that's gonna give me more coverage. So I have to say, although I had to use quite a few layers of this, it's not sitting on top of the skin. It's really blending really nice and seamlessly. And it's not looking cakey, so that's great. And what that means is that you can build this up a lot to get your desired coverage and you're not going to step outside and look like a cake face. So that is good. So for the other side, like I said, I'm gonna use this automated foundation applicator. I did review this. I will link that video in the description bar if you wanna see more of an in-depth review on this guy. I don't use it very often, but I do find that it works pretty well for powder foundations. So basically, I'm just going to get quite a bit on the sponge you press the button and it starts to vibrate. 
And then what you do is just kind of start smoothing it over. What I like about this sponge is that it picks up a lot of product so you get more coverage more quickly. I wouldn't normally put this foundation under my eyes, but since I don't have a concealer handy, I want it to look sort of finished. So I'm just applying it under my eyes for the purposes of this video. Okay. So that is the foundation applied, both with the Color Me and with just your basic brush. And I have to say, this is really a great foundation. The coverage is really, really buildable. It's not super full coverage with one layer. You kind of have to layer it and layer it and layer it, but with multiple layers, you don't get a cakey look. It really blends nicely into the skin, so that's a huge plus. Um, like I said before, it is a little bit light for me right now. It, it pales me out just slightly, but Generally, it's a pretty good match, and you can always take down some of that paleness with um, a little dusting of bronzer or whatever. So that is the foundation applied. Okay, guys, so that pretty much completes the review. I'm just going to hit on the most important points just to wrap everything up. This is the Smashbox Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation. It retails for $42. You can get it wherever Smashbox products are sold. It's a, like the title suggests, a creamy powder foundation, so it's not going to look super cakey on your skin, and it's not going to be super drying. So if you are somebody with dry skin, you can probably get away with this particular powder foundation where you might not be able to get away with other powder foundations. So that is a huge plus. There's a wide range of color options. There's up to 10 colors to suit a wide range of skin tones, and coverage is pretty good if you build it up enough it will suit your desired coverage in terms of wear it will wear for up to eight hours pretty nicely you're not going to get a lot of oil coming through it's going to keep your skin pretty matte and pretty flawless looking it's easy to apply it blends well and all over i really am a big fan of this foundation especially for somebody who's not typically into powder foundations um i really really like this product so I do feel like this is definitely worth your money I feel like if you're looking for a new powder foundation for the summer especially definitely give this one a shot I can't think of really anything else I have to say about it so that's it thanks so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you soon leave any comments or questions down below I get back to them right away I upload new videos every Wednesday so don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you thanks and have a great day